five mods, what they are, and why I've installed them. They say that home is where the heart is, unless you're a high-ranking Forsworn or Necromancer. Five-player home mods for Skyrim SE. Solitude Bridge Home is a uniquely modeled, no-load doors home overlooking Solitude's Harbor. The windows can be opened and closed, lights can be turned off and on. It's packed full of features without feeling over the top. Even if you don't use the home, it gives the capital a feeling of being more populated. Rayx End, a home off the beaten path yet still near the city. The story behind the home makes it feel more a part of the original game, and while there are some grand features, they all feel like they belong. Every space has a purpose. A video of any sort will not do the feeling that I get from this home justice. White Elk Shelter is a lore-friendly cabin near the back entrance of Winterhold. It's a great interactive outpost and retreat from the elements, perhaps a stayover on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azora. I may remove the trophy on the outside of the home, not because I don't like it, but rather to make it harder to see from a distance. Karen Fear Tower Reborn is a masterfully crafted wizard's tower in the mountains of Winterhold. It is the end-all solution for a mage home base. Linked is the official video from the mod's creator, Dark Fox, and it is worth checking out. Mammoth Manor is a lakeside gem. It's an adoption-friendly, cozy home in a peaceful setting with a sauna. There is a stable for your horse and some planters that you decide what should be grown in them. If you want to feel settled down in the lands of Skyrim, this is a home for you. A special thank you to our poet lords, Watch Hill and Trotsky, for their charitable contributions and support. Thank you to those of you keeping Gamer Poets a reality. I am Michael of Gamer Poets, and I hope to see you next time.